<laughs> speaking of uh, speaking of songs, I like to sing a song when I come here, right? Are love to hear it. I oh, guess. Yeah. We're on, hey, man. Oh, 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 it's just a show that we love a lot. It's the man, the fighter, and the kid, right? No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, no. He is the I man, like and the other two are not. It's the man, the fighter, no, and the kid. No, 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 no. I like it. One is the man, and the other is the fighter, and the other is the other guy. No, 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 the kid. <laughs> the man, the child, is a man, the fighter, and the kid. No. Yeah. yeah. I Will, you, did you, uh, meet Brian and talked about this a little bit, but the Mad TV reunion, you were involved in that, right? Yeah. What exactly yeah. is going on there? Uh, the show's been on the air for like uh, five, like four or five weeks But now. you just did like a one-off? I did, I like, did a, like, yeah, I, did, I went there like three times. I did like, uh, yeah, I did like a few characters. I did a, a few different episodes. Old school characters? Or yeah, new? old old stuff. And then I did a uh, thing with Bobby Lee that we just kind of came, you know, we did out of nowhere. He's hilarious. Sketch. Yeah, he's funny. How many people are involved? Is it like Keen Peel are still there? Uh, the whole Keegan, crew? Keegan came back and did something, I think. I'm not sure. Myself, Nicole Sullivan, uh, Bobby Lee, Alex Borstein, Mo Collins, Deborah Wilson, Ari Spears, and Dang. I think that's it. It was fun though. Good huh? crew. Good yeah. to be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a lot of. It was a. Yeah, it was. Well, those things are a little weird, right? It's like it's almost like high school reunions. It was the new cast is is very funny. They're they're all and they're super sweethearts. They're very nice to each other, which is good to see. You know. Back when you were on the show and I was on the uh, show, it wasn't that nice. It was something else when yeah. you were you there. Got, it was competitive. Oh, oh, when he was there, it was wow. insane. Like this, wow. the stories so? that I heard from. Dude, I, how so? I, I well, you know, you know me well, right? Yeah. And you know how long my fuse is. Like yeah. I, I have a long fuse. Yeah, super long fuse. And it's I'll just say that I. Yes. Yeah, I'll just say that it's uh, very hard it's to wrap. Very hard more. to get me mad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's very hard it's to get really me mad. Really hard. I mean, to take things personally for no, me. No, you don't. It's really something else. Yeah. yeah. Well, you I, and I got him mad once. Yeah, we did at the same yeah, time. Yeah, but it, that you was really even did. that had less to do with me. Yeah. Was, oh, no, it, I understand. Yeah. And also by the uh, by the afternoon of that same day, you were cool. Yeah, you were cool. I would have been. I would have held a grudge like a fucking elephant. Like you killed my brother. You don't stay I mad. just don't stay. No, mad. literally ten minutes later. Ah, it's mad. kind of funny yeah, though. It's all good. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Giving yeah. you props on something. And to get it was me. actually really creative between you and Will. <laughs> uh, Anderson Silva didn't forever either. Yeah, brother. Yeah. You gotta have. You gotta put asses in seats, uh, dude. What do you? Let me tell you something, brother. Hey. When it's all about putting asses in seats, Hogan brother, knows. Yeah, dude. You know, Paul Orndorff never had box office. King Kong Bundy never had box King office. Kong, well, let me tell you something. When the Hulkster filled that arena, brother, they were all there. there they're saying their prayers. They're training. They're eating their vitamins, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's good brother. to see you, man. Where'd you come from? You just showed up. UFC, if anyone brother. knows marketing, it's Hulk Hogan, well, Let me tell you man. something, yeah. brother. That sex yeah. tape you made, I you know, watched. Let me tell you something, dude. In the WWE or the WWF, like they used to call it when I was there, and I slammed that big, dirty Andre the Giant right through the mat at WrestleMania three, dude. You you want to put an ass every 18 inches, brother. And if, what is his name? Luke? What? Rockhold. Rock, Rock, yeah. Rock, Rockman. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something, dude. Rock, yeah. yeah, Rock Bloodle. He's, I'll tell you something, dude. <laughs> yeah. If he's got those good looks, dude, he's like Rick Rude strutting his stuff. And he might think he's a good looking guy. And he's got, he's got Ford models, dude. He's got Wilhelmina models over here, brother. But as soon as I drop that big leg on him and I snap those skinny arms and legs, not he a, won't I, be able to tell no, all no, those no. sweat hey, hogs hey, on the front row Hulk, Hulk, to keep it down Luke, Luke, while he shows Hulk, the ladies. Hulk, Hulk, hold on. Yeah, bro. Hulk, yeah, Hulk. dude. Luke well, is a real fighter. Yeah. All right, dude. And he would, yeah, but he so would is Rick Rude, bro. No, you and guys so are not. CM Punk, no, brother. you guys are not. I'll tell real you something. Fighters. My brother from another mother, dude. CM Punk, dude. He's in UFC 203, bro. Yeah, he is. And he's and gonna come. He's gonna lay the smack down, brother. Well, because he's yeah, it's general. Brother. It's pretty general. Well, he's gonna go the in there, bro. Down? Yeah, bro. Is that, is that your assessment of UFC? What do you think he's gonna do in the fight? You know, CM. What do you think he's gonna do? Hulk? Well, let me tell you something, brother. I didn't get a whole lot of chance to work with CM. Now, when I say work, brother. There's work and then there's shoot, dude. Work means, you know, we like to keep it kayfabe, dude. But here we'll tell you, you know, wrestling is a, it's a work, dude. What, what? Well, it's not, you know. What? Well, you know. <laughs> no, I don't. It's not, well, you know, it's not real. Well, I mean, I don't want to well, say you said, No, no, we no, know that. Well, no, yeah. it's not real. It's but work, you're, brother. you're prepared to say it it's not real. Well, hold on, dude. It's work, but it's and not you said real. It's, it's not real. It's work. No, look. You didn't say you didn't say you didn't put out the is L. real, dude. You really, you said when I three. body slam Kamala, that's real, that's brother. Real. You see him go down. I'm, okay, but maybe the. So do you think this is a bad idea for out. CM Punk? Worked out. Well, <laughs> worked out. Yeah, they work. It's called a work, and then they're shoot, brother. You yeah, know, guys that are a shoot. I mean, 
you know, when you have guys coming in from you, I mean, Brock Lesnar, that's a shoot, dude. You know, I mean, he's in the UFC. He, he was an NCAA that's right. one wrestler. Yeah, 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 brother. He's a hell of a wrestler. And so is Hulk Hogan, dude. Well, I went from playing well, the bass. Yep. No. And then I was, well, no, hold on, dude. No. When Brock Lesnar comes in, yeah. he's he's in a shoot fight. That's real when he's in the w, in the UFC, brother. Yeah, that's you know, we know that. Real, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Then when he goes to WWE, dude, that's a work. He faces Randy Orton. He puts an elbow in his head. It's a work, dude. Yeah, it's a you know, work. Yeah, you keep it's, using the word. Pre- keep saying well, work. Yeah, but you it's a work. The work. It, no, all okay. work. I asked you a very it's a simple question, term, dude. Uh, so DCM Park, Park. What's he gonna do? Well, he's gonna hit that that GTS brother that go to sleep. He gets him up on his shoulders and well, that's carry not him in, work. And a fireman stop. Not with and Mickey he drops Gall. him and he hits that knee. No. And then his opponent, brother, he's gonna be out. He's gonna go to sleep, brother. Well. Yeah, I don't think he's. Yep. Gonna do that you to think he'll get a gone. three count? Well, how long has his opponent been wrestling in the WWE? What's he his? Never has. He's a UFC fighter, yeah. and he's a long, rangy kid. He's yeah. a big one seventy. Well, I don't know. He's a purple belt in jujitsu, and yeah. he can bang. Yeah, but CM Punk was a world champion in the WWE. Not dude. in a real fighting sport. Well, it's a work, dude. No. I don't want you to say it's real. It's work. a work. Okay. It's all work. That's saying. what they call it. It's All right, a we're shoot. gonna go. So I think Mickey Gall. If I were Mickey Gall, and I wanted to make an impression, look, CM Punk wants to make an impression. We all want to. You know, make an impression in life. The bo- there's a bottom line these guys want to earn. If I were Mickey Gall, and I'm speaking to my Twitter friend, Mickey Gall now. We've never tweeted to each other, so I'm going to use... I hope he's not on social media this week. <laughs> right. I would, if I were him, I would sort of slap around at CM. I would do some slapping and stuff. Yeah. And then I would get him on the ground, and I would like just dislocate his finger. Like, just uh, just the middle finger. Hey! Yeah, no, I play piano. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Just your thumb and the pinky toe, and I would just sort of slowly because dismantle him. If he can do that, now I might be wrong. Maybe CM Punk wins. Hey, B, I drank too much coffee this morning. Oh, I drank too much coffee. I drank too much coffee. I drank too much coffee this morning. I had an espresso that I doubled down. Shout uh, out you, you, you know what I did this weekend? I what? made it a straight priority. I couldn't be more excited for football. I could, oh. dude. I would. You know, I I'm, Texas, I'm, I'm CU yeah. alumni, so I ordered CU workout gear, hats. Mm-hmm. I was so proud of them. They beat the b- 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 breaks off CSU. I'm not sure if they're good or if CSU just sucks balls. It's up in the air. I watched that Texas Notre Dame game. I made some keto wow. chili. Watch that. Best game I've seen in a long, wow. long time, sir. Wow. Freshman. Imagine that freshman quarterback. How old are freshman college? How? I mean, what, what year are you? Uh, 18. They're 18. Are unless they? He, unless you fuck you. They're 18. Yeah. Unless you're redshirt. No, nope. Dan Redshirt, 18 year old. We'll say 18. We've been bad for that. 18 year old starting for the University of Texas football yeah. against Notre Dame uh-huh. in his first college game. Uh-huh. What the fuck were you guys doing at 18? No. I, I, I didn't have the mental capacity to what? lead a fucking Texas Longhorn team at 18. Yeah. You're going to get found out. They're either going to laugh or they're not. You're either going to get knocked out or you're not. You're either going to get beaten into the ground or not. And so. Let's see. He's been training for two years. I'm actually very curious. I'm very curious. That's the whole thing with you. So you got Mickey Gall. How? I think Mickey Gall's going to knock him out. I think I think Mickey, think he submi- I think Mickey Gall face. submits him. I don't think he knocks him out. Mm. I think he submits him. I think he gets his back, submits him. There we go. All right. So let's go straight into current events then. Bring it. First one we got for today. We were just talking about how in the world the Ohio Athletic Commission would sanction a fight between a guy who has zero fights. Against a guy versus two fights. And a guy who has professional, well, at least a couple of professional fights. Well, that kind of makes sense. Go on. So, if you think about it. basically, the Ohio Athletic Commission explained to MMA Fighting on Tuesday that the reasoning behind granting uh, Phil Brooks a license despite no fighting background uh, was basically rested on two things. One, and this is a quote. Money. CM Punk has a wrestling background similar to Brock Lesnar being permitted to fight in the past. Jesus Christ. That is from the It's incredible. From the Ohio Athletic Commission. That's an incredible which thing is to say. One of the most banana land false things I've ever heard. They have no life. idea that Brock Re- Lesnar wrestled at Division 1 University of Minnesota, a powerhouse it was wrestling. Was a D1 national champion. Yeah, he was a D1 champion. They have no idea. Champ. Yeah. Well, I mean they, they just they, credit they know, WWE. Just apparently com- they think that WWF experience is the same thing as collegiate incredible. D1 wrestling. So that's fan, that's crazy. the state of our that sport. That is incredible. And then the other quote is, there was also confidence in the matchmaker from the UFC and the past bouts he has submitted in previous UFC events in Ohio. So 
Joe Silva has done a good job in the past, so we're going to just roll with him on this one. Did he also slip in there? They also gave us a shitload of cash just to fucking pass us through. How about that? <laughs> They also, Those well, we, are they also call like they also did what we like to call grease my palms. Uh, free tickets for the rest of your yeah, life. Yeah, I'll be sitting gate side, so you, I don't give a fuck. You guys come on by, sit right next to me. Let's be let's be real. Who gives a fuck? You How about that? You sit on Dennis' lap. You can quote that. That's it. How much does Dennis' lap cost? Yeah, I got free tickets for the rest of the UFCs. Well, they come here once every four years. I'll be front row though. Sit on his lap. <laughs> That's why I passed this well, bullshit the fight. Thing. Auction Dennis. Lab. That's interesting. But if, if you're gonna sanction a fight, a guy with two fights versus a guy versus no fights, they do it all the time.